How many of you have been to India? Oh, you very good. Do you know there's an island called North Sentinel in the around the Andaman Sea, and in this island live a, a tribe, very primitive, and the Indian government uh, prohibit uh, the the people, visitors, tourists uh, interact with them because they are very aggressive. To, actually, is to protect them and to protect you. Uh, so, uh, doing in the past many years, archaeologists trying to approach this people, this tribe. Now they are around 50, 60 of them, and he tried to uh, offer gift to them, you know, uh, two pigs, you know. But as soon as he arrived the shore, uh, the people will use the spear and kill the pig and bury them in front of him. We don't want it. Uh, so that is not a gift anymore because they really don't appreciate it. So you look at the, the gospel today that uh, 10 lepers were cleansed. Only one went back. And what did Jesus say when he came back? Your faith has saved you. So he was being saved by coming back. What's that mean? You know. Actually, a gift, gift is grace. If we don't give thanks, so that's not grace anymore. That's why uh, you look at the difference between this archaeologist uh, to give uh, this gift to the tribal, and they didn't accept it. That's not a gift. So for the Samaritan to return back to give thanks to God, he accepted it as a gift. The other nine, well, we'll see. Was an 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 India hay una isla se llama Sentinel que está alrededor de esta uh, aguas que se llama Adaman. Allí vive uh, un tribu muy agresivo. Arqueólogo uh, trataba de ofrecerle regalos a dos cedros. Sin embargo este tribu no, as, no aceptaba este regalo y mató los cedros y enteró delante de este arqueólogo. Entonces uh, rechazó esta, este regalo. Cuando uno no aprecia el regalo, ya no es un regalo. Es como en este el evangelio que los uh, leprosos Se fueron y después solamente uno regresó a dar gracias a Dios. Significa que él aceptó apreciar todo este regalo. Por eso Jesús dijo que, ah, te salva. The other lesson we learn is that besides that giving thanks is a gift, is a grace. But we also have to give credit to the nine lepers that actually it's 10 of them that they have faith in Jesus. You know, Jesus usually uh, when he heal, what does he do? Get up or be healed. You know, the blind man will say, oh, you have your sight back. But today's gospel, what did he do? He didn't say, oh, be cleansed. He just said, okay, go to see the priest. You know, the as a leper, you know that you look at your body. I have seen lepers, you know, uh, it's black pus and all this stuff is terrible. And so when they look at themselves and then what? You, you want me to go to see the priest now and, and I'm not cleansed. But on their way, they got cleansed. So you have to have faith first. It's just like the um, uh, the, the wife that wants to go to a, uh, a wedding banquet, is that right? You have a big uh, a mancha, what do you call that? A, a big stain on your dress. And then your husband said, just go on the way, it will, be, it will disappear. Would you go, you know? So, same thing, that this, this lepers, they really have faith in Christ. That's why. 
they go. But on the way, then they realize that, oh, little by little, it's clean. It's clean. Now they have a dilemma. You know, now they realize that they are clean in the middle of uh, the, the path to see the priest. Should I go forward to, to see the priest and then I can be reunited with my family or go back to give thanks to Jesus? You know, that's a dilemma. So what happened? One of them, Samaritan. Well, you think about it, Samaritan, Jewish priest, they don't match, you know. Maybe that's why they, he goes back. He went back to see Jesus. He has nowhere to go. But you look at this. That this is a lesson to learn from these nine lepers. They might go back later, but Jesus is God. But they might give thanks to God in the temple. We don't know. But what Jesus or Luke trying to tell us is that they, they start their journey as if they were cleansed. That's faith, okay? So it's just like in our world. We live here. We are commanded to live just like as if there was no sin. The sin has no longer that ultimate power over us on this unredeemed fallen world. So because Christ's death and resurrection has broken the power of sin, and death. So it's the same as the lepers, you know, that they went to see the priest as if already they were cleansed. And we live in this world as if uh, our sin has been uh, overpowered by Christ. So we learn from them and they have faith too. So let us think about our own life. How are we going uh, to live this life as if that Christ has already uh, forgiven us, if uh, you want, if you believe. Pues fíjese que este uh, leprosos, que cuando Jesús en general, cuando cura una persona, es inmediato. Sin embargo, en esta vez, no. Esta vez, Él le mandó todo este leprosos a ver el sacerdote en el templo. Pero cuando ellos empezaron esta jornada, no había curado todavía. Entonces ellos tienen que tener fe. En la mitad del camino se curó. Entonces ellos tienen un, un dilema que sigue adelante uh, para hacer este ritual. De, uh, entonces se reúne con su familia o regresa a dar gracias a Jesús. Entonces ellos no saben qué hacer, pero nueve de ellos uh, decidieron que no, vamos adelante. Y solamente un San Malitano regresó a dar gracias a Dios. Entonces él también aceptó, este es un regalo. Fíjense que necesitamos gracia para seguir adelante. Por eso, uh, Jesús dijo que ya, ya se salvó. El otro nueve, no sabemos si ellos se salven o no. Porque necesitamos esta gracia durante toda esta jornada. En nuestra vida también, en este mundo. Como, como nosotros vivimos como si estuviese limpiado del pecado. Como si, como si el poder de... Uh, de muerte y de pecado ya fue vencido por Jesús es como los leprosos que estuviese, como, si fu, como si estuviese limpiado ya desde el principio so uh, we have to to give thanks to God that the, to learn from the Samaritan because he gives thanks to God that he carry this grace with him in the journey. Uh, we need that grace uh, to finish our journey. Now the other nine, do they, were they saved? We don't know uh, because uh, their journey haven't finished. But we concentrate on the Sam Samaritan, that we need grace really because he gives thanks to God. That's why Jesus said, you are saved. 
uh, because he has the grace to finish the journey. The other nine, uh, they didn't give thanks to God. So the grace is not there. Yes, they were cleansed. But that's why maybe in the future and they would give thanks to God and they were saved. But the important part is give thanks to God, acknowledge that's a gift. So that's a grace. Then you can, we can move forward. Without the grace, we cannot move forward. So uh, let us give thanks to God every day. Uh, if we don't, uh, then we always ask God, give me this, give me that. Then you always go through all your inventory, what I don't have, what I don't have, then I ask God to give it to me. But if you give thanks to God, you go through the inventory, that's all you have. That's the grace, you know. That's a positive way uh, to communicate with God. So, entonces, tenemos que dar gracias a Dios todos los días, porque si solamente uno rega y rega, entonces uno hay que saber qué es lo que no tiene. Entonces, pide a Dios, oh, dame esto, dame otro. Pero al contrario, si nosotros da gracia, damos gracias a Dios todos los días, lo que tenemos, entonces esta uh, oración sería positiva. Entonces nuestra emoción, nuestra psicología va a cambiar totalmente. Vamos a continuar a celebrar esta misa dando gracias a Dios. <tose> 